your prayers are going to be used in the destruction of our adversaries. Your prayers. It might. It might. So now once again, as you're in a jail cell thinking no one hears you, as you're a little girl thinking that no one hears you, thinking that no, that there is no God that is listening to your prayers for help. He is. He is listening. And he's gathering all of them up. Gathering them all up. Putting them in an incense burner. Filling it with fire. And on the day when our new exodus comes, when we get our new exodus, he's going to destroy our oppressors. Shalom Israel, moi c'est officier Yatazan, officier Sekil Yatazan dans ISUBK en bas, l'autre commandant général Yahana, et bon côté moi, moi j'ai un officier. Shalom Israel, je suis un officier Sakowo de ISUBK République Dominicana, nous sommes observando ahora mismo el, el, la Pascua del Señor, ahora mismo estamos haciendo el servicio de sábado, que, y estamos haciendo las oraciones en el hebreo, en la, en la lengua de nosotros. Ça n'a pas gardé la cunia là, c'est jour de livrance là que nous avons observé. Ok, dans ISUPK, ça c'est jour de livrance Seigneur. Le Seigneur te délivré nous dans Égypte et que nous commandé, Seigneur commandé nous pour nous observer chaque année. Et c'est ça qu'on appelle là dans ISUPK. Et où est un soi-disant haïtien qui sorti dans la tribu Lévi avec un soi-disant dominicain qui sorti dans la tribu Siméon. Nous unis pour nous capables de servir Seigneur. What I just said is that I am preaching an officer of 5,000 yachts of our lawyer from the ISUPK under commanding General Yohanna. And right here is my brother from the so-called Dominican. Dominican Republic, which we know the Dominican Republic are the tribe of Simeon in the Bible. I am over Haiti, he is over the Dominican Republic. Why? Because we are coming together like the Bible says, and what we are doing right now is observing the, the, the Passover that the Most High commanded us to observe every year, ever since we got out of bondage from Egypt. And this is what we are doing here. We are observing the Lord's Passover in the eyes should be there. Shalom Israel. Shalom Shalom Israel, I'm a recent officer of 500 Zaka War over the ISUPK Dominican Republic. Now we are here observing the Lord's Passover, the 52nd annual Lord's Passover. That's right. Right? We over here, you know what I'm saying, an officer of 5,000 Yasazar, you know what I'm saying, who's over ISUPK in Haiti. You understand? The Dominicans and Haitians are, are separated in the world. But here in the Israelite school of UPK, we are united as the Bible commands us to be. Right. You know what I'm saying? We keeping the Lord's Passover. We're right. doing everything that the Bible said, tells us to do. You understand? Get like in the ISUPK and learn the truth. And like Shalom. 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 Yeah. All I want to do is run it. Run it. Run it. Run it. Run it. All I want to do is run it. Hey, hey. Get the money. Get the money. Tell them run it. Run it. Run it. Run it. Run it. Ain't no problem if you want it. All my niggas want it.
you got a layo. Already turned up, took a shot at Porto Leo. Shorty say, I'm the realest that she saw. I'm just trying to run it like I'm running from the law. Cause you know I gotta get it for my children. You PK, bitch, we in the field. Okay, okay, I think it's time to level up. Them niggas ain't special, bro. Them niggas just regular. Me, I'm a heavyweight. Salam Israel, I'm saying bonjour, bonsoir avec Fred, we're on IT. We say officer 5000 yards on the ESUPK, Israel High School of University Practical Knowledge, who say an acronym that we say in Creole, l'école israélite connaissance universelle et pratique. Nous en bas l'ordre commandant général de Hanan. Et je dis là, nous gagnons seul nous, on a ici un pareil nous qui parle bon nous. On dit histoire sur Jean Li apprendre de ISUPK, il va parler nous qui bon les fêtes en Haïti. On gagne un petit interview avec ce hein. Qui j'en ai ce homme? Qui a tout bagaille? Bien bien moi même. Bien bien moi bien merci. Grâce à Dieu. Ok ce homme. Est-ce qu'on a dit nous qui j'en que où est le? Où est le cochab? Où est le cochab? Cochab ça c'est hébreu ou bien qui langue ça? Hébreu. Ça c'est hébreu. Qui ça ça veut dire? Non moi je veux dire. Uh, Latin on the glass. She, she, she is cared for. 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 She is cared Je ne sais pas si je comprends. Je suis en train de changer, je suis en train de faire des barbes, je suis en train de faire des cheveux. Je suis en train de faire des choses qui sont en train de faire des choses qui sont en train de faire des choses. Je suis en train de faire des choses qui sont en train de faire des choses qui sont en train de faire des choses. Je suis en train de faire des choses qui sont 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 en train de faire des choses Class ICPK, okay. and then if you left, I'm going to go to the other one. Okay, what is that? I'm going to go to the ISUPK, the Dominicana, and I'm going to go to the other one in the school. She is the daughter of the other one in the school. And we want to ask a couple of questions so that you can have an idea of how it is, 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 how Salam, salam. Um, um, what's your name? Evelyn. Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn. Um, and from what part of the Republic of the Dominican Republic are you? I'm from the capital. Okay, from the capital. Okay, from the capital. And you were born here or there? I was born here. I came here at the age of nine. At nine years old. So you were born here? Yes. Okay, chévere. So, um, how and when did you find the truth? Yes, yes, yes. La forma en que yo encontré la verdad fue a través de mi esposo. Él y yo trabajamos juntos en un banco y luego que me fui de ese banco a, o sea, a perseguir nuevos sueños, encontré una buena relación en él y poco a poco me fue introduciendo a lo que es el concepto de la hermandad y a través de, de ese cariño y ese amor y ese sufrimiento uno por el otro fue que yo me... Me interesé un poco más y, y aprender un poco más de la verdad. Sí, It's my brother and my blood, and I will die and kill for him if necessary.
Moses and Joshua. Yahweh Shai and Isaiah. Our King David. Our Prophet Jesus. And all of our warriors. That stood with us. And all of our warriors. That stood up and gave their life for their brothers, man. Our King David. Our Prophet Jesus. And all of our warriors. That stood up and gave their life for their brothers, man. And we brought that business. And business is good. Right now, tonight, the Democrats, politicians, religious leaders, Muslim leaders, they're all fighting and arguing and debating back and forth. They're arguing and debating on how to go forward. How to stop the, the, the police shootings. How to build black economy. How to fix all the problems that go on in our black and Latino and native Indian communities. They haggling with it, they bringing in the PhDs. They sitting down with the scientists and the psychologists and the lawyers and the doctors and trying to figure it all out. But the Bible says this, he, the stone that the builders rejected became the cornerstone of the building. Our king, Yahweh Shai, tried to tell a dumbass how to do this thing right. He tried to show them that what they knew was wrong and that if they listened to him, they would get it right. But they didn't listen. And instead, he said, you know what? No problem. He told his disciples, go out into the streets. And I'm going to tell it to you in my modern terms what he said. Go get them necklace. Go get them Regans. Go get them Mexicans. Go get them crazy ass Benjamites. Go get all them 12 tribes or the children of Israel that's in that street suffering and dying and sick and in pain. Go get them. I'm going to show them how to build the kingdom. While I appreciate you appreciating me coming in here, I didn't create that ISUBK. Christ did. I didn't f figure out the law, statutes, and commandments, and the culture, and the garments. Christ did. And he did it through all of you as well as us. He built us again. Now we got a shot. What we going to do? We gonna fail like our forefathers fell? Let them go argue. There'll be more killings. There'll be more deaths. And they'll argue and beat their chest. And riot and protest. We gonna do what Christ said. We gonna follow what he called us to follow. And in doing that, we will fix our nation. But I'm going to tell you how to build a king. First of all, before I even go any further, I want to thank Captain Kahantham Yad, Captain Yatazak, his whole entire Houston team, the absolutely amazing sisters from Houston. They did an amazing job with hosting us out here in Houston. It was beautiful. Give it up for them, Mark. So let me go back to Yatazak's story right quick, if I could, Akim Akbar. So Yatazak, yesterday or the day before Yatazak, a couple days ago, a couple days ago, Yatazak got a phone call. And this phone call Yatazak got was, is what we pray for every day. Yatazak got a phone call from his sister. She said, man, I know who just to call for this problem I had. He said, what's going on? She said, I got two sisters, a mother and a daughter, living in their car. The mother is 93 years old. The daughter is 60-something. They live in their car all week. They go to the hotel on the weekend to take a shower and a bath. They can't get no help from nobody down here in Houston. Churches is doing their usual. She called Yatazah. Boy, I love that call. 
I'm jealous over that call. If you are captain in the UPK, you're supposed to be begging for that call. Yatazak went into action. He got in touch with the sisters, talked to them, got them out the car, brought them to the hotel. You've been in the hotel with them same sisters this entire week. Thanks to Yatazak, man. That's a man of God. He then sat down with his team. He said, man, we got to get these sisters a place to live. His team got together in true UPK style, put a plan together, and they in full execution of that plan. Captain Yatazak, man, we honor you with that gift tonight, man, with the gift you've given us of brotherhood and righteousness in this work of the most high. Give it up for Yatazak, y'all. That's how you do true leadership. That's how you build a nation. That's how you change the earth. That's how you do what Christ said to do. UPK, we ain't about no talk. We do a whole lot of talking. We do a whole lot of more action. And you can't see our action because you blind to righteousness if you can't see it. This is what we do in the UPK. I want to thank the generals for being up here tonight, making it all the way down here. Big shout out to General Muhammad. Give it up, y'all. Damn right. Give it up for General Mayak. Hold it down. Do I have me? Give it up for General Azayan. Give it up for General Shower Ball. Give it up for my main man all the way out of New York with me, Captain General Kathunga Ball. Give it up, y'all. Give it up for General Kwabala Moff, the Q Nixon. But the go live got all eyes on me. Give a damn what they talk about. Got so right. right. And you've got to recognize the signs of the times and that the Bible said that these things were going to come to pass and now we living it out. You coming in here to fight is you saying that I'm not going to join that party. That party, you got to read these scriptures. The prophet invited people to worship an idol God to a party and killed them all. Well, the Lord got a party out here. And if you choose to be weak and go out here and indulge, they will be eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. You do not until that day, until that flood came. I'm paraphrasing, right? The point I'm trying to make is that if you come into this part to come and get it on, you understand that the judgment of the Lord is not. And you understand that the only way you're going to survive is not being a lone wolf, but through brotherhood. That's right. And through strictness and through discipline. And if you lack that, this is the perfect place to come and get it. The Bible said we destroy for lack of knowledge. You better learn who you are and learn what God got for you. Not that lie we've been told all these years, but the actual truth. And that truth's gonna hurt when you learn it at first. Because you're gonna realize you've been living a lie the whole time. It's gonna be a shock, but you better take that shock. Because the opposite side is that death and destruction that's out here. Which is what everybody knows out here, you understand? Yes, Every sir. city got the same death and destruction. You understand me? Like I'm riding through here. I don't walk up. And I'm from Philly, and I'm like, damn, this shit the same hood. It may be a, like a little different as far as the way it looks, the way it's structured, but yo, the same shit happened here that happened in the village. The same hood shit go on. You understand me? Kind of one kind, That's too. what we're waiting for outside the street. And our people need to wake up and understand that we are something more than what they say we are. We're going to change our name 20 times almost in America. But the Lord said you were on team, man. You, yo, niggas ain't tough enough. I don't think y'all really want to fuck with us. I told you we no bitches. I'm a need for you to listen while I paint this perfect picture. We not Christians. Watch your mouth. How them angels in your house. And them people bring you out. Bitch, you know we got that power. And you know we not no cowards. Oh, you on that bullshit? Well, I'm on it too. Oh, you think I'm 
I'm bullshitting, wait till I get with ya If I gotta go to ground, I'ma shut the town down I ain't about to stop until I hear the sand down All you gonna see is a lot of men down You dealing with the men of war, we at war I siding with the Lord, of course, on one accord We ain't never stopping now, you running now All my niggas go to ground, we go to ground You dealing with the men of war, we at war I siding with the Lord, of course, on one accord We ain't never stopping now, you running now All my niggas go to ground, we go to ground we are not the same, no we not related no I'm not stuck on living, death is a vacation My camp undefeated, you cannot debate it You just want the clout, we just want the greatest I'm just trying to get it, if not I'm trying to take it I say fuck the devil, you think I'm talking Every man that is standing today You are to report to this ranch tomorrow at 6 a.m. in all black If you ain't got no black, maybe you ain't got the heart to be here But you're supposed to be at this ranch tomorrow 6 a.m. shop all black so, Now, you running now. All my niggas go to ground. Now, listen, listen up. Cause I hear a few of you thinking in your brain. I, I didn't sign up for this. How did I get here? I can't tell them no. This is not mandatory. Always remember that. You can go, you can go to that right now. Next to your kids, next to your wife, and say, I'm not trying to be a soldier. We still don't want you. You understand? But if you're ready to be a man, and ready to show that king you appreciate all that he did, if you stand here and be warriors, man. Let's remember that a God came out of heaven and delivered us when we needed him the most. We renew our covenant with Yahweh Shai tonight. And we call on the God of Israel. Deliver us from the Egyptians, O oh Lord. Deliver us from the Egyptians. Deliver us from America, Lord. That we rise over this earth again. Now, you running now, all my niggas go to ground.
ground. Oh, 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 you see me riding with them people I be sliding with. We take the truth, ain't no denying it. It's this fire I spit, I got that line script. I put that pressure on them, about to put extra on them. This how the Lord adore you, boy, I tried to warn you. We go to ground, I owe you time, yeah, yeah. Uh, you wanna blaze, we in them last days. They tried to keep my nigga.